In today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between creating a circular pattern versus an, versus an associate pattern in the assembly environment. So, first of all, I've got this assembly over here with my component, which I want to pattern. And if I go into my plate over here and I go modify it, you'll see I've got a circular pattern and the placements is 10. I'm going to go change it to 8. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is if I go back to my assembly environment, I go to the pattern feature. Now with the pattern feature, you'll see I've got three tabs, associative, rectangular, and circular. Now with my circular pattern, I'm going to use this as I've got to go and circular, a circular pattern this component around uh, into these holes. First thing I need to do is I need to insert my um, my component into one of the holes. So I'm going to go and select my insert select select and then just choose a different one okay so with this over here let's just go change another color so we can see what's going on uh, let's do canary okay now what i need to do is i need to go pattern it around you so there are two four six eight holes so go through to my pattern and first of all select my component then i will select my circular pattern now because I have created this um, centered around or grounded at my 0, 0, 0, I can actually use one of my origin axes. Okay, so you can see that the one I need to use is my Y axis. And with that, I need to say, okay, right, it's going to be 8. And okay. Okay, so now what's happened is I've done a little bit of a mistake. So let's go back over here. Let's see what I've done. I said 8, but... 90 degrees. So there's a couple different things I can do here. I can either go 360 divided by 8 or what I can do is say fitted around 360 and there we go. It does the calculation for me. Once that's done, click on OK and there we go. Now what happens is if what happens if the the whole number changes. So let's go back to the plate and change the holes to 10. Hit update. Let's return back to assembly, see if it updates the number. No, it does not. So in this instance, I'm actually going to go back to my component, change that to 10, and then it'll update for me. Now that wastes quite a little bit of time. So what we need to do is find a way for it to be associative. So luckily for us, there is an associative pattern built into the uh, assembly pattern feature of Inventor. So if I select pattern, select my component and this time i'm going to select associative feature pattern it's able to select the pattern that was created so it takes the pattern that was created in the part and it will then go and put the appropriate number so now let's go take a look and see what happens when i change the number of holes in this pattern let's go make it two return and there we go that's two over there to make sure, let's go to the bit of materials, and you'll see there is two over there. Go back in here. Make it seven. Okay. Return. And there we go. So there you can see that when you are creating um, assembly parts, and you might have to pattern, and this works for both the uh, circular and your rectangular pattern so if you've got a circular rectangular pattern which exists in a part and then you bring in another part like a nut or a bolt or something like that which then needs to go and be placed inside that pattern and um and then also uh, you know change the number of instances as the pattern in the part changes then the best thing to do is when you do your pattern component use the associative pattern thank you very much for watching